So we're back outside now, and we're going to measure the focal point of the two lenses. Uh, the air handler is making a lot of noise, so I'm just going to yell at you. Uh, the, the, I've got the 75mm uh, lens right here, 7.5 centimeters, and I'm going to put it right on zero on the optics bench. Okay, so it's sitting right there. I got a distant object way off at the distance there. Uh, I forget what the name of that building is, but way down there you can see a building. You can also see the stairwell for building six. All right, so I'm gonna take the screen now and I'm gonna move it until I see that light that's off at the distance there come into focus. And again, you can see the best image is when you're, when you're in the middle of the lens. So the very corner of building six over there, you can see that nice sharp line right there. And you just move it until you get the sharpest line. And then you measure the focal length. So I'm measuring uh, a distance of eight, 0.11 centimeters. So you can see it's got a little bit bigger, a bigger focal length than is marked on the lens. It's just like resistors. You never take their face value. You, go, you always have to go ahead and measure them. So this is off by a little bit. Now, watch what happens when I put the other one. By the way, um, let's see. All right, I'm gonna put the big lens in there now, the longer one. This is uh, 250 millimeters. Put it at zero, and I'm gonna bring it in until I get a focus. You can see it gathers much more light. Now you can see it's blurry, and then it looks pretty sharp, and then it goes blurry. So you keep going back and forth. That reduces systematic error. All right, but you notice when you go back and forth, that sounds like random error. So you should keep those things in mind when you're thinking about how, these, how the data was collected. Anyway, that looks pretty good. So I'm using the edge right there on building six to create that. Now here's what I get. I got 24.57 uh, centimeters. So that's the focal length of that lens right there. And so those are our two controls for the, ex the experiment. And with that, we are done explaining the lab, and now we just send you to the uh, YouTube, site, uh, YouTube site to look, at the, uh, to look at the videos, and please do that before class. Uh, this past week, it didn't work out so well because the students hadn't looked at the videos. We could have been much more productive in lab. So next week, Look at the videos before you come to class, and now I know how to break you up into groups. So we're gonna put you in your groups, and I will be on standby as well as the other, the other instructors, so we can come into the room you're working in if you have any questions. And if you uh, have any questions you wanna send us, uh, please email us, or if you wanna have office hours, uh, email us and tell us what time, and we'll tell you if we have uh, an open slot for you. But uh, the this, this school, um, as you know, is shut down. So if you want to get together as a group for office hours, we can do it through Zoom. You just let me know uh, by, by, Gmail, uh, by my Gmail or the other teacher's email accounts. So that's it. And I wish you the very best. I hope you stay healthy and uh, keep your distance and wash your hands. Over and out. Mr. Sylvester, you want to say goodbye? Stay healthy, everybody. Stay healthy. <laughs> Take care.